my name is Eric. And I'm Nicole. And together, we work for the Long Beach Public Library. To honor and celebrate Pride Month, we want to showcase this wonderful digital resource that you can find in our digital library called Archives of Sexuality and Gender. In this online resource, you can find a lot of information about the development of the LGBTQ community, also history about the community. Inside, you'll find historical items like queerzines, diaries, vintage posters from past Pride events, letters from the Mexican Gay Liberation Movement, and so much more. Now, Nicole, would you like to show our viewers how to access this resource online? Of course. Let's do it. The Archives of Sexuality and Gender is free to use for all full access Long Beach Public Library cardholders. You can access the Archives of Sexuality and Gender by visiting the digital library at lbpl.org. At the top of every page, you can find the digital library under research. Once you've accessed the digital library, you'll find all the resources in alphabetical order. You can scroll down to the archives of sexuality and gender, or narrow down the page using the filters on the left. Click the title to open and read a description of the resource. If you click on the resources image or the blue access resource button, you'll leave the library's website to go to the digital resource. Then you'll be prompted to type in your library card number, which you can find on the back of your card. Once you're logged in, you can begin browsing. If you hover to the right of the page, you will find five categories, collections, publications, research tools, about, and search history. Let's begin with collections. There are 19 collections one can browse through. By clicking on any of the collections, visitors will see an overview of what's inside. If you scroll down past the overview, you'll find a list of all the unique materials in each collection. Click on the titles under Browse Collection to view each resource. Publications. This category will list popular magazines, newsletters, and journals written by LGBTQ groups from all over the world, spanning the 1940s until today. You can browse for a particular publication by typing the title in the publication search bar. Research Tools. This category features 65 peer-reviewed essays and resources to help you find more information about LGBTQ collections. Each finding aid provides an in-depth history on the collection's subject, like the National Transgender Library or ACT UP Los Angeles. Once you find the resource you are looking for, you can download the source or print it. Search History. You can review your past searches from the current session here. If you have a collection and need to return, you can easily go back by finding the page in your search history. Nicole, is there anything you'd like me to research? Yeah, let's look up past Long Beach Pride events. Sounds good. You can do so by using the search bar at the top of every page. Let's type in Long Beach Pride and see what we can find. Once you click enter, you'll see all the different types of resources containing your keywords. You can browse through the collections to see what best fits your research, or you can narrow down your results by using the filters on the right side of the page. Let's click on newspapers and periodicals. If we scroll down, we'll find articles with information about Long Beach Pride events. In these search results, there are article titles like Long Beach Lesbian and Gay Pride Parade and Festival, and Long Beach Starts Pride Season. When you click on any of the titles, you will find information about when and where the article was published and what publication it can be found in. This record is an advertisement that was written to promote the 1991 Pride Festival of Long Beach in the San Francisco Bay Times. Just like Pride today, we can see the festival and parade were held near downtown Long Beach and promoted throughout the state of California. This is a great resource and I encourage anyone to practice the tools in the archive to learn more about the history. 
And if you have any questions about how to use the Archives of Sexuality and Gender or any of the resources in our digital library, please feel free to ask a librarian at your local branch. Thank you for watching.